Just, uh, don't, don't look in that closet. I still have a lot of organizing to do in there. What's up, everybody? Hope you're all doing fantastic. Another day of self-isolation here in the reptile room. I guess it's not really self-isolating if I'm surrounded by my pets. But you know what I'm saying. In today's video, what I thought I would do is show you guys my little routine that I do about two times a week at this point on how I clean out my, uh, well, interesting enough, quarantined new arrival Europlatus fantasticus that I've had since the month of December. The animals are doing fantastic. They're putting on some good weight that I've been checking in on. And uh, yeah, so about twice a week or so, I clean out their bin enclosures and just replace it with fresh paper towel, check on the stools and everything, that jazz. And so today what I'm gonna do is show you guys how I do that, the cleaning products that I use to keep their enclosures safe and sanitary, and then we'll give them a little feed. So it's a bit of an update on the six animals, seeing how they're doing. If you enjoy watching videos about reptiles and other types of cool pets, please consider subscribing down below. And don't forget to ding the notification bell afterwards to make sure that you don't miss the next video. So let's get into it. All right, everybody, so these are the six animals here. Uh, you can see this is the type of container it is. I just bought it at a local hardware store. They came in packs. And so, yeah, the animals are doing fantastic. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? So we're actually just gonna go through here and change out the paper towels. I'm gonna walk you through the whole process. All right, guys, so we're gonna start off with one animal here. We'll remove the lid first. This is a gorgeous male, fantastic as you can see him here. And essentially, sorry about the chair creaking, essentially all we're going to do is remove the branches here, uh, take off the plant, like so, and we can actually leave him in there. Uh, we'll have to go in there and remove some of the feces that you can see on the leaves, but we don't want to disturb him. We don't need him to be out of his decor for this part. And here you can see there's some poops, some urates, they all look good. Um, yeah, and we're just gonna go ahead and remove this paper towel and take as much out as we can. There's a bit of shedding for some reason, that's okay. And we're just gonna go ahead and throw that out to start. All right, so what I usually use to start is a chlorhexidine solution here. I dilute it, it's about one to four parts uh, with distilled water and I keep it in this blue bottle so I don't mistake it for anything else. So what I like to do is just spray down the container gently like so. And then let it sit for a bit because you do need it to kill all the bacteria or any germs, um, viruses, etc. that are in here. Keep away from it. The vapor is not necessarily, well, not good to breathe in. It's also important to know that chlorhexidine, as much as it is a fantastic cleaning solution, you do need to be careful. Some animals are, in fact, I don't know if allergic is the word, but at least sensitive to it. In fact, there's actually a lethal product to a few species of snake, among other animals. So definitely be sure before using that it's safe for your pets. I used it for Fantasticus and had zero issues whatsoever. So yeah, this is totally safe. I use it with all my animals. So about now we're ready to wipe everything out with paper towel and then we will replace it with another sheet and go on and kind of pick off any feces here and rub uh, paper towel with chlorhexidine on the spots that had the poop, if that makes sense. So you can watch me do that now sort of in a time-lapse sequence. <laughs> Okay, looking pretty solid. Now I wanted to also mention that although there's absolutely no way it's as effective, this is also one option you can do. Now what I've done here is taken some white vinegar and mixed it about one to four parts ratio with distilled water as well. And uh, this works well as a cleaning solution. It isn't obviously gonna kill bacteria the same way as a proper chlorhexidine or like solution for uh, antibacterial or a medical solution will do, but it is going to be effective at cleaning glass and also it does technically disinfected bit. But yeah, so if you can't get your hands on like chlorhexidine, for example, you can definitely use vinegar water and doing that regardless is good to have around, especially for cleaning glass. So sometimes I'll actually spray the enclosure down with the vinegar water solution after doing chlorhexidine just to like kind of rinse things off. But yeah, things are dry as long as it's all clean and dried out, this is ready to roll again. So we're gonna go ahead and put another sheet of paper towel down in the enclosure here. And uh, yeah, we're good from there. Now, usually what I like to do is just gently mist 
the paper towel down. Just a gentle mist, so it kind of takes shape of the container. With some reverse osmosis water here, and that's perfect. Using that type of water also prevents calcium droplets building up all over the glass or plastic in this case. And yeah, now we're gonna take a look at our little buddy here who was actually still comfortable enough to schnooze. Um, so we're gonna gently coax them out. Hey bud, this animal is really doing well. Come on. As you can see, handsome little fant. So here he is, looking really great. Just wanted to give you a better look. So what we're gonna do is just kinda get him to chill in here for a sec. Most of his branches are pretty clean. Just so that we can properly clean off any waste or anything like that that might be on the uh, plastic plant. Hi, right, little buddy. Go ahead, stay in there for a second. So you can see here, there's just like a few little poops and such. We're gonna flick those off over the garbage and wipe them off. Looks like our friend here is trying to make a bit of a break for it. How you going, bud? Okay, worth mentioning as well, once a month or so, I'll take all the plastic plants and put them in a hot water bath kind of with some chlorhexidine and that'll just really disinfect them. It's just the like daily or weekly cleaning that I'll kind of get in there and just pick stuff out. Less of a tedious process, especially now that they have been in quarantine for well over three months. It's less of a worry but they do still have to be given anti-parasite medication. So I'll be looking to set up an appointment for them to get their meds from the vet soon. But yeah, here he is. Let's uh, get him back in his enclosure. Just gonna mess things down a bit. So now what we can do is uh, try feeding him. So I'm gonna gently set him down and we'll offer him a cricket. Alrighty guys, let's see if he wants a cricket. Hey buddy, up here. It's a little higher. Well done. <laughs> so normally I don't necessarily tongue feed them, if you don't know that already. Uh, just once in a while I like to do that to one, establish that comfort zone between myself and the animal, but also just kind of monitor how they're eating and everything as well. So we'll drop a few more crickets in there for him. And that should be good. So he'll get those four crickets and that'll last him for the next one or two days before we have to feed him again. All right, moving on. So I'm going to go ahead and give all the animals a new clean enclosure. And you'll see a little time lapse of that because you know the drill now. And then we will go ahead and feed each of the remaining five geckos on camera. Now that everybody's well fed, we're gonna go ahead and feed some of the geckos here and see how they're doing. So this is a lovely female Fantasticus. Do you like a cricket? There you go. Perfect. Well done, girl. Good job. All right, just like you saw before, I'll drop a few more in there for her. 
And now we'll move on to the next animal. All right, here's another beautiful female. All righty, here we go. Very nice. Awesome, let's move on. Man, this guy is just always so shy. I hope we can get him to come out in the open. Nice. You got it that time. Well done, buddy. All right, everyone. This little man here is pumpkin. You hungry? Would you eat? Maybe. All right, well, definitely not down right now. So I'll just drop the crickets in for him. Hey, where do you think you're going, dude? Just has such great coloration. All those patterns. Very, very nice looking gecko. All right, let's give him his crickets and move on to the last gecko we're gonna try feeding. All right guys, so this is the last gecko we're gonna feed. It's a beautiful female, Fantasticus. Um, let's see here. Do you like to eat? Can you see that? Look what I have. Come on up. Oh man, these geckos are cute. Come on over. Yeah, touch for you. Oh, you missed. Come on. Come on. There we go, finally. Ah, just look at that gecko though. Just amazing coloration. The patterning. Stunning animal. Really, really nice. Just absolutely gorgeous great stuff well guys there you have it i hope you enjoyed this video that's kind of the routine i have going for these guys right now so i'll definitely do a video when i take these guys to the vets to get their deep parasiting medication and uh yeah that's kind of the process of them being quarantined and added into the existing collection of fantasticus so hope you all enjoyed this video looking forward to seeing you guys in another video again soon